In this video, we'll figure out what element on the periodic table corresponds to the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So there are two ways we could do this. First, we could just count up all of the electrons. So we have a total of 11 electrons for this electron configuration here. Since the periodic table is made up of neutral elements, the number of electrons will equal the number of protons. And we can find that based on the atomic numbers here. So we're looking for atomic number 11. That's right here with sodium. So sodium is atomic number 11. That means it has 11 protons. Since it's neutral, it has 11 electrons. So this is the electron configuration for sodium. There's another way we can do this as well. We can also look at the periodic table divided into orbital blocks. So here we have the periodic table. It's divided into these orbital blocks. All of these, this row right here, group one ends in S1. This row over here ends in S2, and that's because S holds up to two electrons. The D block, that holds up to 10 electrons. So we have D1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 10. Then for P, which can hold up to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When we look at our configuration, we see it ends in S1. This is the highest energy level. So we just need to find 3S1 on our table. We go down, we go 1, 2, 3, here's 3S, and this will be 3S1. So this right here, this element corresponds to this electron configuration. Let's go back to the periodic table with the elements written in. So just like we found before, the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, that corresponds to sodium on the periodic table. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.